Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can add music or a sound to your Instagram filter in this buggy R studio. I will also add a function to this filter so when you tap on the screen, the music starts playing and you tap again, it stops. I will also talk about some problems you might encounter when working with audio files in this buggy R studio. So yeah, let's watch this video till the end so you are ready to use music or sounds in your Instagram filters. Let's start! Hey again! So let's add an audio file to this Bug AR Studio so we can use it for our Instagram filters. This sounds really simple but yeah it isn't. So let's start it first. Make sure you have ready your audio file you want to use for this project. Um, yeah, Normally you will have an mp3 or a wav file for your um, yeah, for your music files or your sound files. But for Instagram we need a special um, file to use it in our filters because we need a M4A file which has to be in a mono channel and is um, yeah, with the AAC codec and the sampling rate has to be 44.1 kilohertz. So yeah, no problem for us because there are a lot of converters out there which can transform your mp3 file to yeah, a M4A file. So yeah, let's start. Um, for this video I will use um, this website audio.online-convert.com I will put a link in the description so just click on it and you will um, yeah, come to this site. And here you have uh, see that I already have my music.mp3 file. So when you see the, this site, just drag and drop your file you want to use um, into this green area here. So after the download is done, we can yeah, scroll down the site and yeah, do some do some settings here. So I will set the audio frequency as I already said to 44,100 hertz. Then I will change the audio channel to mono. Um, you can also trim your audio here when you want to start the audio file at a specific time point, but I will leave it like that. And then we have also to select an audio codec and I will select as already said AAC. So now we can click start and after the file is processed, we can download it. So now just click on download and you can find it in your audio channel and as you can see here it is already converted to a m4a file so back to this um, spark ar studio now we can um, drag and drop the file we have just created or downloaded into the spark ar studio and after we have done this we will find it here in our assets panel and yeah now we can start adding audio to our project but we have to do a few steps the first thing is to add a new asset to our project because we need a playback controller we need an audio playback controller so then um, we select the audio controller go to the right hand side and select this audio the music.m4a file or yeah the file you have just imported so now we can hear any anything here when we hit play because we have no element which um, yeah, playbacks our music in our scene. So we have to add an object. Now the object we have to add is a speaker object. Just search for it and import it. So now you can see here the speaker object. Then click on it, go to the right hand side and here select as audio um, the audio playback controller we have just created. And you can also um, yeah, play around with your volume here uh, also make sure the, um, this is checked so it is also audible so now we can go to our audio playback controller and now when we hit play we hear our music playing <laughs> yeah and so you can also control this with a tap in your in your spark ar studios for this just open the patch editor then select the audio playback controller and go to the right hand side here you can and select the play loop and reset properties of your playback controller. When you want to um, yeah, control the play, just click on the little arrow next to play and then we can yeah, control this with a screen tab, add a new patch, add a screen tab patch and then just um, add a switch and here you can 
um, connect the output of the switch, the on off to the play of the audio controller and the screen that goes into the flip of the yeah, switch. So when you tap on the screen, it plays. And when you tap again, it stops playing. But now you will encounter another problem when you test this filter on your device because you want the user to hear the sound when you record the filter and also play the music. But this will not happen with this um, yeah, with this settings here because you have to um, disable the microphone so the user also hears the music when he is recording the yeah the the filter so for this we go to the left hand side to our scene click on the microphone and then here click on the right hand side on disable mic so now you can also hear the sound when the user hits the record button but you can't hear what the user is saying so yeah you have to decide if you want to hear the user or you want to hear the sound um, during the recording but the uh, sound will um, will be on the recording afterwards. So nevertheless, you enable this able mic or disable it. Um, after the recording, the sound will be still in the recording. So I hope that makes sense. The best thing is to play around with the settings, play around with the with all the um, yeah settings and test it on your device. Also use more of the properties here you can also set the loop here so when the music plays to the end it also starts at the beginning and also with the reset um yep, reset property of the playback controller so i hope this video could help you um, with adding music to your instagram filter if yes it would be nice when you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel it would be nice if you subscribe to it thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye